So, I've got bits and pieces, and that's basically what this little uh, video will be about. Bits and pieces. Uh, as you all know, I have been under the weather with my PCOS. I have not been feeling good. The night before last, I had nausea. Last night, I was short of breath. I had my puffer, because I'm an asthmatic, close at hand. In case of I needed it, my breathing machine was on standby. It gets that bad sometimes, but knock on wood. I took an allergy pill late last night. Seemed okay throughout today, but I've been trying to take my mind off my worries and my troubles. And when I do that, I lose my soul either in coloring, singing, or reading. Those are my like three passions, or Hallmark movies, if you will. Um, lately, I've been doing the coloring thing again. Die hard, if you will. Uh, this one I did first, and I got to admit, I added to this one a lot because I didn't like it. It looked like a dead tree to me, and I'm like, it doesn't, it, the saying didn't fit the dead tree, so I had to make the tree look a little bit more lively. And it says, take time to make your soul happy. I added us some more leaves. There's a swing there. You know that song, Strong Enough to Bend by Tanya Tucker? That's what that reminded me of. Okay. Then this next one, I wanted to do something. We're getting close to Memorial Day. And y'all know how passionately I have been lately about politics, which I'm trying to take a, a back seat. I figure maybe that's what's been firing up my PCOS from not doing so well, if you will. So I'm trying to not get so emotional, even though I feel like the topic is very emotional to me um, concerning it. Because, you know, you got to think about grandma a lot. Uh, and I'm going to take a time out from explaining the artwork for a minute. When she was out here at Sarah Bush, I've never seen a hospitalist doctor, to me, so uneducated during that time. And he said across from Grandpa and I, while Mom was on the cell phone driving her way up here, and he said, we just don't know what she's got. It, the flu shot is not kicking it. It should kick it. And he literally got into the face of my, at the time, 95-year-old grandfather, threw the stethoscope down at my grandma's foot and barely missed her hitting her foot. And that's when I said, you're off the case. Because he got mad at me for calling an emergency team into the room. She was lying there, not herself. Um, it was just not her. And I got sick and tired of him saying, we're going to run test, 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 and no tests were ever run. And then, of course, it, took, it seemed like an inordinate amount of time to ship her up to Carl. And when they did get her there, two days later, you know, it was either two or th maybe even four days. It, it's, it's been so long now. Here we are with that doctor in a separate room having another heart-to-heart -heart discussion about her line of treatment. And again, hearing, we don't know what she has, but anybody who goes in that room has got to wear gloves, has got to wear a robe, and has got to wear a mask. And they advised us, of course, not to want to hold hands or get too close to her. But how can you do that when it's your loved one, when it's your grandma, your, or in my grandpa's case, his wife, in my mom's case, her mother? You know, you just can't. And um, I can't even begin to fathom now if they would have known then what she had, would she have had a fighting chance? And to me, testing and vaccinating is more important than going to get a tan, than going to get your hair cut, than going to get your nails done. When it's someone that you love sitting there, lying there in a bed, not themselves, not eating, not drinking on their own, but they give up, not the patient so much as the doctors. I've never seen two hospitals so confused in my life not to want to even name it. Of course, you know, at the end they say congestive heart failure, you know, because that's what she had, but it, it ultimately wasn't what took her because she was on all this medication. But they weaned her off the medication, and it's a heart-wrenching thing to see, a heart-wrenching thing to experience firsthand. And, you know, I just can't get over these people protesting. 
until you're in that spot, you have no voice. Until you're that person in that bed who has a choice, who can't even make the choice to live or die, the family has to make that decision. How can you protest and want to make that decision? Boggles my mind. Anyway, back to the coloring because I'm getting heated again and that's not good and I know we're trying to keep Donna in a happy-go-lucky mood. Sometimes I over-examine. That just happens to be one of those moments. And I won't apologize for it because I'm passionate about it and things I get passionate about I never apologize for. Anyway, the next thing that you're going to see is something to honor Memorial Day. And the reason this one took me a little bit longer, I was like, okay, does he have a great big white smile? Is that part of the star? And I wanted his shoes to be different than the star and I couldn't decide really how to color the star. So yes, that's Mickey Mouse walking with the flag. See his shoes? See the star? Okay. And then I've been trying to read this book too. And it seems like I make 10 pages and then I have to put it down because either it wants to put me to sleep or it's just, I don't know. It's a good book. I mean, it's a cute little story, but it doesn't, for my liking, have that right away excitement. It's, it's taking a long time to build. A really long time. Just saying. But I'll, I'll finish it. Have no fear. It's not going to be one of those that I put it down again. I've made that decision. I've been baking a lot tonight, mainly because um, I want to get the stuff used up before the heat, you know, wave starts hitting and you won't want to be turning on the oven. So I made two different types of brownies tonight. I made milk chocolate and I made uh, chocolate fudge. And I got a bag of books ready for Miss Wanda in the morning, plus a little container of brownies, a couple cans. I got a can of pork and beans and a can of chicken and noodle soup and a scarf because there's always something nice to receive you know just the thoughtful gift to show that you are thinking of them and the scarf is patriotic because of memorial day and fourth of july so i thought it killed both birds with one stone if you will um the one i'm working on now this next one that i'm about to show you i'm doing it for a reason our neighbor girl not neighbor girl our male girl i'll get it right although our neighbor this week surprised me with four cans of my chicken and star soup after my cousin Penny brought over four cans of chicken and star soup when they had the car towed away. So I got now lots of chicken and star soup. Thank you all for hearing me say that and get sick and tired of me saying, hey, chicken and stars is not at County Market. Y'all found it out at Walmart and it's amazing. So thank you for that gift. Um, also, we got this thank you card from our male person I should say and I'm going to read it to you it's a thank you card again and again Mr. McDowell and Donna just wanted to say thank you for always being so kind and generous to me I really appreciate it Lauren your mail carrier isn't that nice and that goes to show you that during this pandemic if you're taking time to make someone else's day a little brighter then you're doing the right thing some of these brownies that I cooked tonight I will be boxing up uh, I've baked two family size brownies. I gave a good portion to Miss Wanda, but I will be giving some to uh, Cousin Penny down here at Jackson Hewitt's because she, you know, like I told you, she's got me chicken and star soup too. So I got her some reading glasses because she keeps losing her reading glasses. And they're the time you get to the dollar store. Got her four pairs of those. Going to give them some brownies. Going to give the male girl some brownies gonna give the Meals on Wheels guy some brownies and then probably the one who gave me some soup this week our neighbors over here some brownies hopefully there's gonna be enough to go around I've got I haven't cut the milk chocolate yet but I believe there will be um, this one here that I'm working on I want to frame it eventually and give it to our mail carrier I think uh, that it this will be a great addition to whatever she likes to decor it is a postage stamp Pluto holding the American flag and um, I'm putting a lot of thought into these Disney characters because I want them to be somewhat on target if you will so I'm gonna actually Google what <laughs> even though I know what Pluto looks like I have a Pluto by my wishing well out there I will be googling what does Pluto look like because I want it spot on target and that's all I have uh, well I'm gonna do a little bit on the postage stamp too 
I'll probably show it to y'all again before I get done. If not, go to blonde.bombshell on Instagram. Goodness knows I've been posting over there a lot lately, so nothing unusual over there, but just my food that I've been baking and these pictures as I go and even the book that I'm trying to read. So uh, you'll get a book review when I'm done. It probably won't be as juicy as some of the book reviews I've done in the past and probably be a lot quicker. Some of you are going, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I try to make them interesting enough that you'll want to go out and read that book. So this book, I'm trying to make it interesting enough so I want to keep reading the book. It just seems a little dry. <clears throat> Speaking of dry, amazing that I thought of that word. Okay, while I'm waiting on the brownies to cool down so I can go downstairs and ride my bike because, yes, Tuesday's my day off. I'm going to try and de-stress tonight because... You, like I said, the night before last, I was sick to my stomach. Last night, I was short of breath. This is the first night that I feel some energy. I don't feel under the weather. I, I have a little bit of pain in the shoulders, but I think that's because I haven't lifted my weights lately. But you know what? It's all good. We're going to get to feeling better, be on the right track, and make sure that everyone, none, everyone knows who's in our life that they matter. So... Because everybody impacts your life. No matter how small, how big, they impact your life. You need to show them that you're grateful and that they matter to you. Every single person. So with that being said, stay tuned. I'll probably sing one song before I go cut the brownies. 